Okay, here we go. This is the uh, the alternator upgrade. And take this 55 amp alternator on the left to a 105 amp alternator, which is on the right. Uh, the Bosch unit that's on the left is uh, stock for the four-cylinder uh, Geo Metro and Suzuki Swift. The uh, Delco Remy CS130 105 amp alternator that's on the right um, came out of uh, 88, 89 uh, Chevy pickup truck. Um, one thing that you've got to look at is the clocking of that ear up there. You want to make sure that the clocking um, is the same so that the fit is close to the same. Um, other thing to look at is the pulley that is uh, on the uh, stock. You see how there's no external cooling fan on that alternator and it runs the three groove pulley which is standard for the um, the G10 series um, engines. To make this work I had to go with a four groove pulley and that's standard on the four cylinder um, uh, G series engines. Um, it makes up just a little bit of room that's in the offset on this uh, this uh, bottom uh, mounting bracket. And you can kind of see the differences between the fitment of the ears on the stock mounting bracket and the extra width that's um, on the uh, replacement mounting bracket. Then one other thing that you've got to look at is on the back of the Bosch it's got that round plug that takes the three wires which is typical for the Geo Metro series but on the CS130 it takes a flat rectangular plug looks like this that's the part that plugs in and then this part plugs into the metro wiring and that adapter is what enables you to make the conversion electrically. Minor difference is the alternator output. You can see that stud that's sticking out there and on the CS130 it's moved to the other side and um, that's really kind of inconsequential because part of this change in, um, to enable the uh, new alternator to um, handle the um, current you kind of have to get rid of the um, standard wiring there it's too too small it's under 8 gauge uh, the, the uh, alternator to um, on the Metro which goes over to the fuse and relay block um, on this upgrade I'm going to uh, replace that alternator output cable with a uh, 4 gauge cable and run it directly to the battery